What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. So I want to start a new series called How Would You Code It? Where I give practical, real life coding challenges to solve. These are not aimless algorithms or full projects, but just scripts and simple programs to solve everyday problems that may be similar to what you would be asked to do in a real job. So I present the scenario like your boss asking you to come up with a solution, and then you'll pause the video and you'll code it up yourself in your own flavor and programming language of your choice. And then you can unpause and you can watch how I would do it. And these aren't going to be comprehensive solutions covering all checks and scenarios and nitpicks, but just providing a solution that works like a first draft, just a working script or program that gets the job done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an associated blog post where you can actually go and down in the comments, post your solution. Because the name of this is, how would you code it? I wanna see how you would code it. And I plan to do these maybe two to three a month. I think it'll be fun. So for today, here's the scenario. And I'll put a link to this blog post below. So this challenge is called the folder deduplicator. Your boss has tasked you with writing a script to get rid of duplicate files in a folder. So your company has a script that runs daily, and as a byproduct, it creates some duplicate files. And I know you might be thinking, hey, we should address this at the root, but just play along. So there's a script that runs, and as a byproduct, it creates duplicate files. So you need to create a script that you can run periodically to remove these duplicate files. And here's what the duplicate files look like. I'm on a MacBook and I'm just gonna do like this. So I have a file called index.html. I'll just copy and paste and paste and paste. And when I do that, it creates a file called index copy.html, index copy three, index copy two. If I come down here to readme, I copy and paste, readme copy. Read me copy two, read me copy three. And that's how I'm gonna do it today. If you're on Windows, then you'll address this how Windows does it. For my scenario today, I'm gonna run with this. So I have files, index, package, read me. And when I make copies, I get this space copy in all of these files. So what I wanna do is be able to write a script to remove duplicates. So the challenge is, can you write a script, whatever language you want, that one allows you to pass in a CLI argument for the folder path, so you wanna be able to use the script on any folder. So if I'm using Python and I wanna run the script, I would do Python, the script name, and then as my first argument would be the full path to the folder that I wanna check duplicates in. So you wanna be able to pass in a CLI argument for the folder path, and then two, your script filters for duplicates, and then it lists out all duplicate files that will be deleted for the user to then be prompted to either confirm the deletion or cancel the deletion. So here's the workflow. First, the person running the script passes in the path via the CLI with the command to run the script. After that, it lists out all the files that will be deleted. So there's a filtering happen and then it lists out all these files. And then the user will be prompted to either confirm these deletions or cancel. On confirm, all files are then deleted and on cancel, the program ends. So how would you code it? Here's an example of what it would look like in action. So when I run it, it's gonna say, you are about to delete the following files. It shows me all the files. I can hit Y to confirm it, and then my files get deleted one by one. So you can see an example here in the blog post on what it looks like. And what you're to do, you're to tackle the challenge, and it can be different if you're on Windows or your files are duplicated in some different way. And feel free to post the code down here in the comments. I don't have any yet because this post isn't live yet. But looking at another post example, just click write your comment, and you can choose these code blocks, write in your language, and then type the code. Or you can use something like Google Collab to code there and then just take a screenshot, paste your screenshot, whatever you wanna do. But I'm looking forward to your solutions. So at this point, pause the video, brew you up some coding fuel, see if you can write this script to get it working, and then feel free to unpause and watch my solution. And then finally, share your code with all of us on this blog post, so go get them. All right, here's how I would code it. I'm gonna start out with some pseudocode, handle CLI argument, so we're gonna be passing in the path or the folder that we wanna check for duplicates in. Then I want to list files in folder and push duplicates. It's a new list. Then for the person running the script, I want to list out files that will be deleted in prompt for confirmation so that they can confirm that these files are the files that need to be deleted. And then finally, uh, delete files. That's my plan of action. All right, so first let's handle my CLI argument. When I run this script, I wanna be able to enter in the path to that folder that I wanna delete files in. That way I can use it really on any folder. So CLI arguments in Python are handled with the import sys package. So the sys package handles CLI arguments. And we can get those arguments with, let me create a variable here called file path. And you can get those arguments with sys.argument 
argv. Now this is gonna give us a list of arguments, so we need to just grab the first one. But the first one is actually the file name, delete duplicates.py. So we wanna grab the second in the list, which is gonna be the first one. So zero is the file name, and then from there, we have our arguments. So this will give us the first argument that we pass in from the CLI. Next, we wanna list files in a folder and push duplicates to a new list. So how do we loop through files in a folder? Well, we use the OS package to do that. I think there's other ways as well. I'm gonna use the OS package. And if we look at the documentation for OS, or if you're a more modern programmer, you can use AI to get the answer. There's a method called list, uh, listdir. So list directory, return a list containing the names of the entries in the directory given by path. So the argument we're gonna pass in will be the path. So I'll do a simple for loop. So for file in os.listdir, and then we're gonna pass in the file path which we provided in the CLI argument. And from there, let's just print the files to make sure this is working. So print file, and it should print a list of all the files in that folder. So to run this script, we're gonna make sure we're in the right directory. I'm in the desktop directory, so I can run this with Python, delete duplicates.py, that's the name of my file, or the name of my script, and then the full path to my folder that I wanna delete the files in. So that's on the desktop, and the folder is called test duplicates. So if I run this, it's gonna list all my files. Great, so now we need to filter out the files that need to be deleted. How do we do that? Well, I'm on a MacBook, so let me actually open this up in the Finder. You see here on a MacBook, when we create a duplicate, they just add this word copy, and if that's already there, they just add copy two and copy three. So let me delete these. Let's say I wanna make a copy of this. Boom, it just adds copy. If I wanna make another one, copy two, copy three, copy four. So what I can do to filter these out is I can look for a space copy in a file name. Now I know you probably want more checks than this, but we're keeping this simple. And if you're on Windows, it's probably something different. It's been a while since I've been on Windows, but I think it's like a one, two, three or something. Whatever it is on Windows, if you're on Windows, just do it for that in how Windows handles duplicates. So to filter that out, we'll say instead of print, we'll say if, space copy is in file. If that's the case, then we need to push this duplicate to a new list. So let's create a new list called files to delete equals empty list. And if copy is in file, space copy is in file, we want to files to delete dot append file. So once that's done, Let's print that and see if that's working. Files to delete, run it, and we should now see just the files that need to be deleted or the files that contain that copy text. So readme copy, 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 yeah, everything with copies is here. So these are all the duplicates we wanna delete, great. So we're filtering those out, putting them in a list. Next, we need to list out the files for the user showing them what's gonna be deleted and have them confirm that. So they'll be able to see that list and say, yeah, that looks good, delete. So first let's print to let the user know what's going on. You are about to delete the following files. And then we wanna list the files. So another for loop will do. So for file in files to delete, print file. And now that we've printed the files, I want them to confirm whether to delete or to cancel. So let's do another print and say, do you want to delete these files? And then I'll put a parentheses with y slash n, yes or no. And actually I want this to be an input so that they can input their answer. And let's save it in a variable called confirm. So you're about to delete the following files. We list the files. And then we prompt them by saying, do you wanna delete these files? Yes or no? And then capture that input in this variable. So then if confirm equals Y, then print files deleted. We'll put that as a placeholder for now. Else if, or it's actually elif, confirm equals N, so they're saying no, and that doesn't go there. So elif confirm equals n, print files were not deleted. 
And then as a catch all else, we'll print you entered an invalid response. All right, let's test that. Run the script. And it says you're about to delete the following files. It lists out the files. And it says, do you want to delete these files? Let's say yes, files deleted. Run it again. If I say no, files were not deleted. If you run it again and I say like T, you entered an invalid response. Great. So now the last thing we need to do is actually delete the files. So I'm actually not going to do this here. I'm going to do this up at the top under this list. I'm just going to create a function called def delete file. And since we're providing file names, let's just pass in the file name. And here we need to delete the file. How do we do that? Well, in the OS documentation, there's a method called os.remove. Remove or delete the file path. And the first argument here is the full file path. So let's go back and do an OS remove. Then I'll put an F string and first will be the file path, which we passed in as our CLI argument slash file name. That removes our file. And this is actually deleting individual files. So one file at a time. So I want to say print and let me just copy this. File path file name has been deleted. And then what's actually going to happen is it's going to delete them so fast, like all at once. We don't really get to see it happen. I like to see it happen one by one. So I'm going to do an import time. And then here, time.sleep. And I'll put 0 0.2 seconds. Just so it lets us see them being deleted one by one. Just something I like. I think it looks better. So we have our function here to delete a file. And actually, this should not go in the function. It has nothing to do with that function. So let's take that out and put it down here. So right here where it says print files deleted, let's take that out. And since we're deleting individually, let's put for file in files to delete. And we'll call our delete file function. And we'll pass in file because remember we have to pass in the file name. And then after that is where I'll put the sleep. And I think that's it. For each file in there, we're going to delete it individually. Wait 0.2 seconds, delete the next one, delete the next one, and on and on. So let's try this out, see if it works. And I actually want to bring up the folder here so I can see them being deleted. I'll put that off to the side. So let's run the script. And it says you're about to delete the following files. These look good to me. We know that no and anything else is invalid. So let's try a Y and watch them be deleted. And I'm also going to show my finder over here so you can see that. So there we go, deleting a one by one. If you didn't put that sleep in there, this would just boom, it would all be done, which is fine too. I just like to see it happening on the screen. Now, if I look at my folder, great. If I were to run this again, you're about to delete the following files. Do you want to delete these files? And that's where we can make this script better. If there are no files to delete, it shouldn't prompt us this. So you can keep building on this. So right here where it says, do you want to delete the files? You can say if files to delete is not empty and things like that. And that's how I would do it. How would you do it? Looking forward to seeing your answers. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to continue with the series, let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And I'll see you in the next video.